everyone! It's June favorites time and I'm acting kind of sad because I am kind of sad because it's late. I'm so sorry that this video is late. It is July. It's actually my brother's birthday today, so happy birthday to my brother Eric. Uh, not that he watches my beauty videos, I can accept that. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna get right into it and I'm just going to choose things at random. So let's do this. Okay, first thing is my perfume obsession. This is the Diptyque Geranium Odorata. I hope I'm saying that right, but basically it's a very sensual, amazing... I've been obsessing over it and I just have to share it. So I love Diptyque fragrances, I love their candles, and when I was in the store earlier this month I saw this one and it really caught my eye because it has the colored flowers and normally Diptyque is very like black and white, you know, and when I saw that pop of color I was like, oh that's so sweet and nice. Anyway, I'm gonna spray some on right now. Let's see here. Oh yeah, just just breathe it in. I know you can't, but it's just amazing. This I could be really overdoing it and one in the hair because if you spray perfume in your hair, apparently, according to a French woman I once met, it makes your hair smell really good all day, and in turn, you will smell really good all day. But yeah, that's definitely perfume overload, and I have to go out after this, so... Hopefully that's not too much, but anyway, why do I like this so much? So it smells very floral, but it's not too girly, but it's also kind of like musky and feminine at the same time. It's very sexy and I just can't get enough of it. It's almost kind of a minty floral, but I don't know, I don't know if there's actually mint in there, but... The next product is slightly... Well, why don't you tell me? What do you think this is? Any guesses on what you might think that is? It's a toothbrush, people! It is a toothbrush! I was so excited to try this out because I'm a big fan of taking something that's quite traditional, such as the toothbrush, and turning it into something more modern and sleek. And this is like, this is very chic and very cool, isn't it? So this is by the brand Foreo, and the toothbrush itself is called the Isa. And just, I just want to show you this. Look how bendy this thing is. It's very, very cool. The first thing you're probably noticing is, well, besides, oh, it's a very beautiful design, is, oh, it's got silicone bristles. It doesn't have the traditional nylon bristles. And when I started doing more research into this, I discovered that it's actually very hygienic. And it's medical grade silicone, so when you brush your teeth, you rinse it off, it dries really quickly, and it doesn't breed lots of bacteria and germs and all of that disgusting stuff. So that is one plus of this toothbrush. You only have to change the head once a year. Because it is so hygienic, you don't have to change it every three months like normal toothbrushes. So yeah, just once a year for that, which is really cool. And another thing is that it's very gentle. So just to get up close and personal with you guys, I have gum sensitivity. And I shouldn't be embarrassed to tell you that, but I kind of am. I don't know. I used to have braces and I used to brush my teeth really hard. So this really appeals to me because it's very gentle on the gums. And basically how it works is you turn it on like that. And it's got different speeds. So you can like press minus, you can press plus. And it just kind of vibrates and you just put it in your mouth, you know, like you would any toothbrush. And then it vibrates and you just kind of like move along your teeth like you would normally do, you know what I'm saying? So it's very gentle on the gums. It's very unique. I feel like I'm part of like a new age, like toothbrush experiment right now. So if you like the looks of this toothbrush, make sure you check out the description box because you can buy it, but it's invitation only. This is a very important toothbrush, a VIT. Uh, yeah, so check the description below and you can click the link and that's an invitation in towards getting one of these brushes, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just really like teeth, I like smiling, I like to laugh when I'm not in a really bad mood because sometimes I am, like right before I filmed this video I was in a bad mood, I'm not gonna lie. But what I'm saying is we should care more about our teeth because smiles are beautiful. Moving on to the lipstick that I'm wearing, this is the Lipstick Queen Aloha Lipstick. And this was a recommendation of my friend Amelia Liana. She also has a beauty channel which is amazing and yes, we are friends, I kind of have to say that, but I actually mean it. Her channel is awesome and she's so funny. We had such a great time uh, in California. I actually just got back yesterday, but we went there for VidCon. So make sure you go check out my vlog channel because I've got lots of vlogs about that. But anyway, I digress. I saw her wearing this at dinner a couple of weeks ago, maybe last month, and I was like, girl, please tell me what is your lipstick? I need it in my life. And she's like, oh, it's the Lipstick Queen Aloha one. 
and of course I had to have it. It's a gorgeous sheer red. I might just have to reapply some here. Yeah, it's just like a nice sheer really smooth formula and I think it's a very nice summery cherry red color. Gorgeous. The next lipstick is very, very similar to the one I just mentioned, but it's by Rodile. I hope I'm saying that right. Rodial? Rodial? I don't know. But basically, it's another sheer red lipstick. This one is slightly more corally, so not so cherry, but it's the same sheerness, same easiness, same beautifulness, and this one smells like coconut. Honestly, it smells like summertime. It is really nice. And I love the clear cube packaging. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. Ah, this is so nice. It's in a nice little miniature tin, and it's just perfect if you like neutral palettes like I do, like I'm addicted to them, like I don't need any more, but I really like this one. It has one, two, three, four matte shades, and then the rest are shimmery shades. Really great eyeshadow quality, and the colors themselves are gorgeous. I haven't really tried these bottom two ones yet, and like I was mentioning, I was at VidCon and I actually forgot this, so I used Amelia's palette, she's got the same one. Um, so yeah, I just have been really enjoying this palette all month long. I think it's amazing for the neutral lover and very compact and nice. The Body Shop Raspberry Body Butter. My, oh my, what a beautiful surprise. What am I even talking about? Basically, this is a body butter. You know how much I like body butters. They're heavenly. I have very dry skin, so every single day when I get out of the shower, it's like lubrication time for me. I know that sounds wrong, but you know. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. It smells like raspberry, as you would uh, imagine it to be. And it's kind of like a thicker consistency, and it smells good, but I find it sinks in really quickly. I love it. That was quite the weird noise I just made. But yeah, if you love raspberries, go check out the Body Shop because they've got a couple of raspberry products, and I think they're limited edition, so check it out. This is a blush I've been loving lately. Well, it's actually not just a blush. It's a blush palette. It's the Urban Decay Naked Flushed palette, and I have the shade Streak. I have the other shades that these come in, but this one is by far my favorite, and that is because the blush shade is just perfection. There's a plane. There's a plane. Wow, this is so great because it's like, is it pink? Is it peach? Is it coral? Is it amazing? Yes, it's amazing, but I don't really know how to describe the color. It's, it is a peachy coral pink, I would say. And then it also comes with a cheek highlighter, which is really gorgeous, and then a bronzer. And the bronzer is really nice as well. I normally find it difficult to stray from my Body Shop Honey Bronzer, but this one's actually very nice, very nice texture, very nice color, not too orange, not orange at all actually, and it's just a nice handy little palette, and I think it's amazing. Here's an eyeshadow, it's a cream eyeshadow by Laura Mercier, and this has been so well complimented this month. Every single time I've worn it, either in a video or in real life, it's my phone, BRB, hello. Every single time I have worn this, I've had so many compliments on it, because it's one of those shades, it's like, is it purple or is it neutral? Or what, what is it, Essie Button? Well, I'm telling you, it's both. Dun, dun, da! Yeah, I know, I know, crazy, crazy things. So basically, it's a nice silvery, purpley taupe shade, and I think what makes it so special is that it's a cream, so it does look slightly more reflecty, and it's really pretty, and what you have to do is take it out and squeeze it onto the back of your hand, and then apply it. I just use my fingertips. And I did use this in my Summer Trilogy makeup video thing, so yeah, I've been loving that. I think it is awesome, and I would definitely get more colors, but I'm so happy with this one that I don't really feel the need to get any other colors, but yeah, alloy. It's a keeper. Shall we talk about eyebrows? Yes, I think we should. So this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I have the blonde shade. I've kind of been going for a slightly more undone brow look. I mean, not really, but kind of. I just haven't been being so crazy with the pencil, and I've just been using this, which is a tinted brow gel. Um, so I just run this through my eyebrows, and I've said it once, I'll say it again, I have some bald patches in my eyebrows where the hair 
just doesn't grow so you know I need some assistance there so I just put this all over and then on the areas that I need a little bit of help I'll put my hourglass brow sculpting pencil but in general I think this is really good if you already have a pretty decent shape to your eyebrows and you have hair then I think you'd really like this it's got a really tiny little wand and just a cute little product and last but not least are two eyeliners and I cannot remember if I mentioned these in last month's favorites but I just want to mention them again because I've been loving them so the first one is the Stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner but it's in the shade navy again one of those products that's like I would never normally use this but navy is a color but it's a neutral so I kind of like it you know and I've, I don't know, I just think it's awesome. I did a whole blog post on it. But the liner that I've been using the most is the Katu liner, which was a recommendation of my friend Claire's. And Claire is awesome. We've actually got a video coming up together soon, so that's very cool. Ah uh, yeah, she recommended this and she's like the queen of the cat eye. So when she said it was good, I was like, damn, it must be good. And I got it and it is good. And why is it so good? Because it's not a felt tip, it's like a brush. It's like a paint brush. So you paint on that flick and you are done. Well, not that easy. I actually really screwed up my eyeliner this morning and I had to actually remove it. Like there was no salvaging it. Uh, so that kind of sucked. So, you know, you can still make mistakes with this, but it's a lot harder is my point. And you get a very precise Flick. So that is my entire June favorites video. Again, I'm so sorry that it was a little bit late. Make sure you go check out my vlog channel, which is youtube.com slash vlogs because I did a little something called Vloon. Vloon is where I vlogged every other day in June. Very interesting title, isn't it? Vloon. Uh, so yeah, go check that out as well as the vlogs from VidCon. With that, I'm going to wrap it up. You can check out the description to find all of my links to Twitter and Facebook, etc. They're all at Essie Button, little teaser there. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Today's video is going to be a few summer outfits that I've put together. I hope you like it. You guys know fashion is not my forte, but I hope you like it anyway. I really like the outfits I put together. 